Hello, Mike Kroger here, Finale Inventory. Going to give you a quick video on the topic of activating and deactivating products. So within Finale Inventory, you cannot delete anything. So you can uh, use what we call deactivate to make a product inactive. And you can also bring it back from inactive state back to active. So how you do that is you go to your products view. So you can do view products here from the main home screen, or you can use the inventory uh, products. So when you go to the product screen, you may have a search uh, in aired in like me, or I'm here on the product screen. I'll clear out my, my search box, but you'll also notice that there is a filter box uh, on the product view. So you'll see active products. So if you click that, you're looking at only your active products. You might have a product status column that actually shows you the same information. Everything is active. So you also can see your inactive products. So here I've switched to see only the products that have been marked as inactive. So there is a status showing that. You may or may not have this column on your screen. If you don't, you can add it by simply going to the action menu, customize the screen, and turn on the product status column. Okay, that also help you. You can also see both active and inactive products if you turn to all products. So let's see how this works. So I'm going to go back to active products. Sometimes people say, and they say somebody accidentally made something inactive. So I'm going to give you that example. So if I look for this product called best hard drive ever, let's imagine that a user or um, another person in your company accidentally turned this product inactive or you want to make it inactive. How do you do it? So you just click on the product, go to the action tab and say deactivate the product. Notice that the status right now here at the top of the screen is active. So if I just simply say deactivate the product, it's now marked inactive. If I go back to the product screen, it disappeared. I can't see it in my search. I remember I'm only looking at active products. So if I was to, uh, since I'm searching for it, it no, no longer shows up. So if I try to find it, it's not there. Best hard drive ever. Where did it go? It's in the inactive products list. So here it is in inactive products. I can bring it back. So how do I get it back? It's just the reverse. So I click on the same thing. The status is inactive. All I need to do is make it active again. Now that it's active again, it will disappear from the inactive product list. Remember, we still have a filter here called best. So if I go back to the active product list, it shows back up over here. So that's a tip. Now the other thing is you can bulk or massive update a range of product IDs from inactive to active status. You do that with the import uh, and export from the home screen and you would actually um, set the product status to either inactive or active. So you can do that from import export. You would do a batch create and update your products. You'd use this button here and all you need to do is include the product ID that you wish to make either active or inactive and the status as a column. So you put the value of status will be either active or inactive and that will change them from one status or the other. You can do it in bulk. That's the tip.